Whoa, this is one spicy, badass pork cutlet. Ah. This is my version of a very spicy pork tonkatsu. Really, I really like how spicy it is. I don't think it's too spicy. It's just right. Mm. Yum. So on a scale of one to 10, I would say these are definitely a 10 kind of spicy. How do we make the spiciest tonkatsu? Well, we'll get to the spicy part later. And first of all, let's take care of our pork. So for me, always, I love to use what's called pork shoulder or sometimes called pork scotch fillet cuts. They have a little bit of fat running through them, which keeps them nice and juicy. So I like them. You could also use pork loin, which is a little bit more traditional. So a couple of options there, but what we need to do, what's most important is we want to get these a little bit thinner and an even thickness. Both of those things are going to help us with an even cook time and a quicker cook time in the hot oil later on. Now just get some baking paper on top. Now, if you don't have a fancy meat mallet, that is totally okay. Do you know what is perfectly fine is an empty wine bottle. We'll do the job just as well. So this is what we're looking for. Some nice flat pieces of pork. And now always, always when I'm crumbing meat, I like to salt the meat itself. Getting the salt in the breadcrumbs or the flour, it just, it never gets enough seasoning onto the meat. So. Get it right on there. Okay, onto the pork. Now, just let that salt work its magic for a little while while we get our spicy stuff organized. So, I pretty much have like all the chili things here. <laughs> we've got chili flakes, we've got chili powder. I have some sweet paprika as well because that's gonna give you an option of how to make it mild or hot. We'll get to that in a bit. And I have some Korean gochujang chili paste. So let's start off with that one. Now I want some chili flakes. Now these next two, you can totally go your own way here. And, and now here's my little secret weapon. If you didn't want it to be super spicy, but you still want it that really like bright red color, you can add in more or less of this one, which is the sweet paprika. It's got all the color, but it doesn't have any of the spice. And just give that a whisk. All right, so this even smells spicy at this stage. Oh, scary. Okay, um, pork is now going into that spicy mixture. And now give that a really good mix until every last centimeter of that pork is covered in that spicy goodness. Okay, so we've taken care of the spicy part. Now we have to do the crumbing. And I have a standard set up here. I've got my flour, my panko breadcrumbs. I like to use the panko. They're like nice and light and crispy. And we just need some eggs in here. I just need to whisk those. And now those of you who are regulars here on my channel would know all about my little slogan here for crumbing. Left hand, wet hand, dry hand, right hand. Yes, I should make t-shirts. Um, okay, so the whole point about that is we wanna keep our fingers nice and clean because it's just less messy. So we go in left hand, wet hand. And now your right hand, dry hand comes in to put the flour on top. Now into the egg. Left hand mixes that. And now into your breadcrumbs. Now I like to get these into the fridge for about 10 or 15 minutes or even longer just to allow that crumb mixture to kind of set on there really well. These guys have had their time in the fridge. They are ready to go. Now, if you want to check if your oil is hot enough, grab yourself a wooden spoon or a chopstick, pop that in the middle, and you want to make sure you can see some nice, furious little bubbles there. All right, we are good to go. Just grab one of your cutlets and slide it in. Now the key here is to keep your little cutlets moving. Keep flipping them around as often as possible uh, because we're not in a restaurant with a massive big vat of oil. We've only got a small amount and you can get kind of like hot spots on the bottom of the saucepan. So that's why you want to keep flipping them over. So these are looking mighty fine. Look at that beautiful golden color. They've been in here about 10 minutes. 
and what I'm going to do is pop them onto a baking tray that's got a baking rack on top of it. Now because these are still quite thick I always like to get them into the oven for like you know three or four minutes just to make sure they're cooked all the way through so I'm going to do that now. And so while they're in the oven I'm just going to make a really quick spicy sauce. So Technically you would usually serve a traditional Japanese tonkatsu with a tonkatsu sauce. <laughs> that dark, you know, Japanese barbecue sauce. I actually have an Asian barbecue sauce that I make myself, which I totally love, but feel free to use the traditional Japanese version. The point is we want to make it spicy. So I'm going to get some into a bowl, add some chili powder. You could leave the chili powder out if you want. We have made quite a spicy cutlet. Give it a mix and that's good to go. So these are looking so totally crispy and delightful. And some nice chunky slices here. And have a look at that, that nice ring of fire around the pork and then that crispy, crusty exterior. Oh, so good. Mm, that's a good crunch. And then a little bit of salt here, just, you know, always something deep fried requires a bit of saltiness at the end. Now transfer over onto your plate. And then because I'm totally badass, we're going to put some more chili flakes on here. Optional, of course. And there you go, guys, my very spiciest pork cutlets with a spicy barbecue sauce and spicy chili flakes and, you know, all the spicy. <laughs> all right, I am gonna get in here and see how we've done with that heat level. All right, I am really looking forward to this. Hmm. Wow, that spice level does not disappoint. <laughs> that is hot, but wow. You know what's great about it? it like it's spicy, but that gochujang has such a beautiful, like savory, almost smoky flavor. And then that crispy crumb and the porky porkiness and totally Moorish. I mean, oh, mm. spicy always makes me happy. You guys know that this one next level, next level good. Mm. It really is really good. I really like how spicy it is. I don't think it's too spicy. It's just right. Mm. Yeah.